who started a lawsuit in early 1963. Now, I was about five and a half years old at that time, but uh, just before school was to start in 1963, we won that lawsuit, and uh, I, I was going to be allowed to go to Fifth Avenue School, which is uh, an, uh, at that time was an all-white school that was about a block and a half from the home where we lived. And my father thought I should be able to go to that school rather than go to the old black school, which was about a mile and a half from our home. So, um, like I said, the uh, judge ruled in our favor, ruled from the bench, by the way, uh, based on the Brown versus Board of Education decision in 1954. So, 54, so nine years earlier, that federal case had, had been settled. But uh, as you can imagine, uh, uh, schools, especially in the South, didn't just race to uh, desegregate. So it took some challenges from uh, some very organized and very brave people uh, in order to uh, make, make uh, school desegregation actually come about, mm -hmm. even though it had been the law of the land, like I said, for eight or nine years mm -hmm. before. All deliberate speed ended up being pretty yeah. slow. <laughs> exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. Okay, so um, so right, so so you you win the case, and ultimately, after um, some demonstrations and, and opposition from both local uh, local residents and the state government, correct? Right. You you are ultimately able to to enter school. Right. Let's see. Yeah. Um, interestingly, the uh, and now I don't remember the court case. I was only five when mm -hmm. most of that was going on, but of course, I've I've heard a lot of stories about it. The Huntsville City Schools had a four-part argument why I should not be able to go to that school. Uh, the first one, uh, their argument was that there was such a wide street that I would have to cross <laughs> in order to get to the school. Well, uh, the judge asked the lawyers for Huntsville City Schools, he says, well now, are there white children who have to cross that street? And the lawyer said, well, yes. So, well, are there crossing guards to help those white children cross the street? Well, yes. Well, can't those same crossing guards help him to cross the street, you know? Um, <laughs> now, one of their other points, they said that um, if they let this one little Negro boy into the school, it would disrupt the entire school system. And uh, the, judge, the judge asked the lawyers, he says, you mean to tell me that you have such poor control of your <laughs> schools that this one little boy could disrupt the entire school system, you know? And of course, they, they had to admit that that was not the case. Um, and then, uh, let's see, uh, well, their, their final argument, believe it or not, was that, uh, actually, I guess their first point was, uh, such a thing had never been done before. Mm. So, <laughs> so, so, so that was quite a, quite a reason. And, 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 and there, was, there was a fourth reason that's not coming to me right now. But uh, I think you can see uh, just from those, oh, oh, yes, the other reason, believe it or not, they said that they had turned Montgomery inside out and could not find a copy of my birth certificate. Well, I was born in Indiana, so they were looking in the wrong place. <laughs> but but th that was their four-part par argument. Why should I? So, uh, and, and you know, again, I was only five years old, and so I'm not, I wasn't old enough to really understand everything that was going on. But if that was the best that they had, they, they must have known that it was just about over mm -hmm. for segregation. They must have known they were grasping at straws. I think they were maybe trying to postpone things if they could, but they had to know that uh, based on Brown versus Board of Education and the fact that they couldn't put together any better argument than that, mm -hmm. that it was just a matter of time and it wouldn't be very long. Mm -hmm. The judge did actually rule from the bench, didn't even bother to retire to deliberate or to have to refer to any other cases, but ruled right from the bench. So, okay. so that was a, 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 an overwhelming victory.